Hi, in the first part of the tutorial I showed you how to change the sky, add the sun. In the previous part I showed you how to add this line in the grass field and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this text and I'm going to delete this but before that you can grab the move tool and move the text and you see that if you move it to the front it looks like it's small, if you move it to the back becomes really big so this is something you can do after you finish doing this so let's delete this for now I also added the lion layers into a layer group just created a new layer group and then grabbed and dropped the layers to that layer group so uh, let's create a new layer click OK then with the text tool click I'm going to write GIMP then I'm going to double click to select the text and type 210 pixels also make the text bold I'm going to move it over here for now and I'm going to move this layer all the way to the top and also duplicate it and I'm going to rename this one back and this one front now the next thing I'll do is again select the text with the text tool I'm going to change the color I'm going to paste the code here click enter and you see this dark green color you can see the different settings and the code click OK you can use another color if you want to I'm going to use this one then for the back here again I'm going to select the text and paste the code for the color and it's another green color and click OK so we have our back and front and now the next thing I'm going to do is grab the move tool, move the active layer and with the up arrow I'm going to click two or three times to move this a little bit up the back part the back layer a little bit up also going to select this layer here move it all the way up and this is a picture that I open as a layer and now I'm going to use it to create an effect on this text click with the scale tool make sure this chain is locked so we can keep the aspect ratio then click and drag to scale this down now with the move tool I'm going to position it over the text and I'm also going to duplicate it and send this one here so we have one for the front and one for the back of the text and I'm going to change to soft light and I'm going to make this one invisible for now and with the move tool I'm going to position it and you see the effect on the text I'm just trying to position it in a place that I like now the next thing I'm going to do is right click on the front text and select alpha to selection then I'm going to select the top layer with the image make it active then control I to invert the selection or you can do that from the select menu and then I'm going to hit the delete key then control shift A to deselect and you see the effect we have on the text and now I'm going to do the same thing with the back part again soft light and I'm just going to leave it like this I'm not going to move it 
then select alpha to selection on the text layer and then on this one control i to invert and the delete key to delete then shift a control shift a to deselect and i'm going to make this one visible so you see we have the text effects now the way we can move this entire thing is click on these chains and I can move all the layers at once and position this here so in the next tutorial I'm going to continue with creating the shadow now before that I want to show you uh, I think we can unchain these and merge these down select this one and merge down so we have less layers here and uh, make this less confusing so that's it for this tutorial like i said in the next tutorial i'm going to continue with creating the shadow and also i'm going to do some additional stuff to the text to make it fit better sit better on the field here so that's it for now subscribe like the video bye